Never. Nigga. What's poppin' G Nation? <laughs> Welcome back to another 3 a.m. challenge, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, these just might be the biggest degenerates we've ever covered on this channel. I am sorry in advance for the brain cell loss that will definitely occur as a result of watching this video. When I came across this, I was surprised something like this could even exist. Who am I talking about today? Well, none other than the YouTube channel known as I'm Fake Station, a parody of the second biggest degenerate on the platform, I'm J Station, who we all know is famous for the I called insert dead rapper or dead YouTuber name at 3 a.m. using famous people's deaths for views. Now, a few months back, I'm Fake Station went viral for making a very interesting video about Chadwick Boseman's death, where they pretty much said this. Guys, now we're going to face them in cancer, guys. Cancer? Woo! Didn't we already call Chadwick in the other video? Yeah, but this is the cancer that killed him, not himself. <gasps> oh! Guys, this, what's the- Yes, guys, no, cancer is black, guys. Colon cancer is a really dangerous cancer that killed Chadwick. <laughs> I pray to him every the day. The poor guy died, guys. He died because of colon, guys. Colon is the name of a scary cancer, guys, that only kills black actors, guys. Guys, this is so cool, guys. I love Chadwick, guys. I love you, you too. Thank you for a career. But can you please pause the last phone? This, these views are gonna be even more banger, guys. We're gonna go straight to the point. We're gonna call him up right now. Three, two, one. When I was a kid, guys, I used to watch Black Panther all the time, guys. When I grew up, my dad started teaching me that some people, that the guy who played Black Panther is a black man, guys. And then a bunch of other random lame jokes, if you can even call them that. And then like a garbage five minute skit of them fighting, I guess, a plastic bag Chadwick Boseman, where they then defeat him by kneeling on his neck like George Floyd. Look at the cancer, it's coming out of his eyes now, guys. Oh my god. I think he's gonna die soon, bro. Now, that incident happened months ago, so why am I talking about it today? Well, if you didn't know, the famous YouTuber known as Jacksepticeye, with over 26 million subscribers, recently lost his father. On January 27th, he tweeted out, My father passed away today. I won't be doing anything for a while. Please respect me and my family's privacy during this time. So let the world know what was going on with him. Now, of course, you know, you know, with any YouTuber going through anything, there's gonna be people in the comments making jokes and people in general just clowning on the situation. For example, this guy right here who said, Hashtag Poggers. And then this other guy who said, Jack's dad was not the imposter. Now personally, I don't really care too much about stuff like that because while disgusting as it is, it's the flipping internet. Uh, you ex you have to expect trolls like this to be here. So stuff like this has never bothered me. I just see it scroll, have a laugh at the fact that it's possible for somebody with less brain cells than that vegan teacher to exist and just scroll and move on with my daily life. However, this, this one took it a, a bit of a step further. You see, there's this one particular channel named Logan Roof, and his picture is a kid who I've never seen before, and his channel banner looks to be a butthole that has been stretched out beyond recognition, or something of the sort. Whatever degenerate created this channel took I'm Fake Station's video on Chadwick Boseman, re-uploaded it, and then titled the video, Cutting Open Jacksepticeye's Dad at 3am. Jacksepticeye was inside and cried like a baby, with this as the thumbnail. Now, they also have a number of other very wonderful, respectable videos on their platform, such as giving Jacksepticeye's dad the COVID vaccine at 3 a.m. Scary, he stopped breathing like George Floyd. Another wonderful video titled Jacksepticeye's dad and Derek Chauvin switched bodies at 3 a.m. And if you don't know who that Derek guy is, it's the police that killed George Floyd. He need George Floyd. Giving the gay potion to Jacksepticeye's dad at 3 a.m. Gone wrong, he became trans and joined the 41%. with a thumbnail of Jacksepticeye's father in a wig with rainbows, and of course the one we've already seen with, you know, cutting open Jacksepticeye's literal dead father. But get this, if you hadn't noticed before, all the videos I just showed on this channel are exactly the same length. Do you know why? Because it's all the same flipping video re-uploaded for five times actually, five flipping times. So these people are just re-uploading I'm Fake Station's old videos and then capitalizing off of them, just uploading the same video a million times with the different titles to get flipping views. Now so far, as you could probably imagine, these posts are getting absolutely ratioed into the ground with, you know, thousands of dislikes. But dislikes don't do anything, so who the flip cares? At the end of the day, this person got what they wanted, which is attention, so hey. I don't really know what you're supposed to get out of this besides hate being sent your way. You don't 
get money, you're not monetized, uh, you, you don't get anything, bro. And listen, man, I, I can take a flipping joke, okay? I flipping roast people in my videos for crying out loud. I can dish it, I can take it. Dark humor is funny to me, for the most part. And I typically don't get offended at really anything. Even when the Gypsy Crusader fans were bombarding what that one video I made, calling me the N-word, and saying they were gonna come hang me and my family just for being black, I didn't really care because I'm just not really one to care about words that much, if you know what I'm saying. However, this is quite noticeably too far, especially for the simple fact that it was so recent that it happened and Jacksepticeye could actually see these videos. Imagine your dad literally dying like less than two weeks ago, somebody taking his picture, photoshopping a picture of him getting cut open and another picture of him as a woman or as a transgender person or whatever, using that for views and being extremely disrespectful. Imagine how that would feel watching that. Not even just knowing that another human would go out of their way to do something like this at your expense, but also just feeling the raw anger of seeing something like that. YouTubers are human too, bro. And I'm sure if Jacksepticeye saw this, it would affect him in some type of way. This is absolutely disgusting and completely morally bankrupt. I don't know who made this page, but please, I'm begging you, bro. Seek help, dog. Like, honestly, what what do you get from this, you know? If you want views that badly, just make a commentary channel, you know what I'm saying? Just be like me, make garbage content and get views. JK, my content's fire and you know that, so my toe. But anyways, long story short, if you're gonna take anything from this video at all, if you are a human who exists on this planet that we know as Earth and you are comprised of living cells, please, 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 I beg you, don't be these guys. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. But but anyways guys, as I always say, if you did not enjoy this video, remember to slap the dislike button. If that was your true opinion of the video, then you should let me know because don't hide your... Brother, oh my god dog, don't... <sighs> Kids. But yeah, anyways guys, as I was saying, if you did not enjoy this video, punch the dislike button because if that's your true opinion, you shouldn't hide it because of me. But of course, if you did enjoy the video, punch the like button in the face till it turns blue like your name is Chris Breezy. And do the same with the subscribe button till it turns gray. And of course guys, as always, it's been your boy John and you are now leaving my mind.